So time for some a few comments about section one, this musical stuff. And you might be asking yourself, what's with all the musical vocabulary? I, I thought this was a jazz history class. We need to have um, a sort of a lexicon, a glossary of of terms that we use for musical stuff so that we can all be describing all the different kinds of jazz music we hear using the same vocabulary. We want to make sure that something that we talk about for ragtime is something we can also use for jazz rock fusion. So what everything has to do, it has in common, is all these musical terms. So that's why we got to go over these at the beginning. So let me pull you over to the piano to look at some keyboard things and to look at some things on uh, a piece of music as well. When you see music on a page, what you're really looking at is a graph of the, the height of the music, in other words, how high or low the notes are, and a graph of time, how time passes, how close the notes are together in terms of duration. This little deal up here is a key signature. It tells me what world I'm playing in. And this little number here, the C with a slash through it, this thing is telling me what, what um, meter, what, uh, what groove, what kind of time signature I'm in, how many beats per measure, and like that. Allegro, as I mentioned, that kind of tells me it can tell me, in this case, it's a pretty fast song, but it can also say that the song's style is funk or the style is jazz or the style is ragtime, okay? So this tune sounds like this at the beginning. You know, that same lick would look like this on the piano keyboard. Each location on the page corresponds to a location on the on the keyboard itself. Um, the keys are real simple. Things are just according to uh, the alphabet. C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C. D, E, F, G, A, B, C. It starts over. Easy to understand. Um, octaves, we talk about that in the text. Octaves are the distance of eight notes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's an octave. That's an octave. That's an octave. That's an octave. Okay, that's what we're talking about. Piano players and jazz tunes play things in octaves a lot. It makes them fatter. Scales are groups of notes that have a particular personality. Major scale. Minor scale. Phrygian scale. Lots of things have different personalities or moods or modes. Those are helpful. Um, rhythm is the idea of durations. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, and three, four, and one. All of those guys have different durations and they're represented differently on the page, but you get to hear the difference between long, less long, Less long yet, less long yet. Okay, those are all about durations, rhythm. And meter again, meter is just the feel of I'm playing one, two, three, four, one, two, three, or maybe I'm playing one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, or I'm playing one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Sometimes we call these things grooves, but meter is the proper term for it. And finally, this chapter has a nice summary at the end to remind you of all the terms that you should have picked up in the course of this chapter. After this chapter is over, next, that little guy, after this chapter is over, you do indeed have your first quiz. Oh, sorry, there's a, there's a discussion here first, but you've actually already done this perhaps at the very front of Canvas. If not, you can do this discussion here where I ask you what your musical background is. You take it from there. But I want the thing I want to make sure you don't miss, you guys, this first quiz. Section one quiz. Um, pretty easy stuff. Ten questions, I believe. No big deal on this guy. So give this a shot. But I need to see you start creating points for yourselves in there. Okay? There's 14 of these. Here's the first one. You might as well get started now. <laughs> 